praise the lord isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not be faint. So, Heavenly Father, King of glory, God of glory, the glory of Israel. Heavenly Father, the King Almighty, the Lord Almighty, the praise of all the nations, the praise of all the heart. I give you glory. I give you adoration. I worship your holy name. I exalt your holy name above every other name. Let your name be promoted. Let your name be worshipped. Let your name be praised. Because you are the Alpha. Because you are the Omega. Because you are the first. Because you are the last. Because you are the beginning. Because you are the ending. Because you are the God that changes not. Because you are the healer. Because you are the deliverer. Because you are the great provider. Because you are the gracious God. Because you are the faithful God. Because you are the God. God that never fails. Even as I share this message on the importance and significance of waiting upon the Lord, I pray that you shall reward them. I pray that you shall manifest your power. I pray that you shall honor your word. And I pray that your word shall bear fruits in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I pray for somebody today who has been weak. I pray for somebody today who is confused. I pray for somebody today who has been discouraged. Right there where you are, receive divine strength. Receive divine strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who wait upon the Lord shall mount on wings like eagles. I pray for somebody today who has been stagnant. I pray for somebody today who has been living among the crowd. I pray for somebody today who cannot even walk, who cannot even run, not to talk of flying. Today, be because you have decided to wait upon the Lord today, because the word of God is coming to you, the power to fly and receive that power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power to live above the crowd, the power to mount on wings like eagles, the power to live above the multitude, receive that power, receive that power. It's only champions that fly, it's only overcomers that fly, it's only conquerors that fly, it's only victors that fly. Today, the power to become a victor, the power to become a champion, the power to become a conqueror, the power to fly like an eagle, right? there where you are receive the power of god receive the power of god receive divine strength receive divine help in the mighty name of jesus christ the bible also says again that those who wait upon the lord shall run and not be weary perhaps you have been running the race of life maybe the race of your marital life maybe the race of your financial life maybe the race of your professional life maybe the race of your academic life maybe the race of your professional life and you have been weary today divine help is coming unto you today divine power is coming unto you today divine empowerment is is coming unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power to walk and not be weary, the power to start and finish, the power of the Hafa that allows you to start, the power of the Omega that allows you to finish well, right there where you are, receive the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to your legs and I command you to receive divine strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of weariness, every arrow of confusion, every arrow of discouragement, every arrow of fear that has been fired against your life, against your heart, against your mind i command the arrows to gather themselves together and i command them to go back to sender go back to your senders in the mighty name of jesus christ the bible also tells us clearly that those who wait upon the lord shall walk and not be faint today every fainting spirit every spirit of depression every spirit of suicide every spirit of discouragement that has been fired against your life every arrow of fainting every arrow of depression every arrow of discouragement that has been fired against your life every spirit that is telling you that you cannot succeed every spirit that is telling you that you cannot make it i say it's not of god it's of the devil and i rebook those spirits i identify them as strangers and according to the word of god in second Samuel chapter 22 verse 45 it says strangers shall cling out of their hiding places therefore you spirit of depression you spirit of fainting you spirit of fear i command you to come out of your hiding places i cast you out i cast you out in the mighty name of jesus christ how do I succeed as a businessman? Perhaps that is the question that is aggregating the minds of somebody who is listening to this message. Even as we are starting a new year, even as we are starting a new month, even as we are starting a new message, even as we are starting a new week, even as we are starting a new day, perhaps that is the fear that you are having. Perhaps that is the thought that you are having. How do we make it in life? How do we succeed in life? How do we make a success of your business undertaking? The word of God is coming to you today and I'm taking that reference text for this message in which I've titled Bible principles of success in life. And I've taken the reference text from Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. It says again that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not be faint. Therefore, the first thing you need to know in order to go forward this year, the first thing you need to know in order to move forward this year, the first thing you need to understand in order to move forward this month is that you need to learn how 
about to wait upon the Lord. You need to know the principles and the essence of waiting upon the Lord. What is waiting upon the Lord? Waiting upon the Lord is spending quantity time studying and meditating upon the word of the Lord. And as you meditate upon the word of the Lord, the wisdom of God shall be revealed to you. As you meditate upon the word of God, the wisdom to overcome the challenges and the obstacles of this world shall be revealed to you. What is waiting upon the Lord? Waiting upon the Lord is spending quality time in prayer and fasting. Even as you humble yourself in the presence of God this year, in fasting and in prayer, even as you indulge in intense prayer during the day and during the night, even as you indulge in intense prayer, standing upon the word of God, I am persuaded that you shall mount on wings like eagles, I am persuaded that the word of God shall work for you, you shall run and not be weary, I am persuaded that the word of God shall come alive in your life and you shall walk and not be faint in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is waiting upon the Lord? Waiting upon the Lord is praising God, is worshipping God in hymns and songs all days of your life. I pray for somebody who is listening to this message again, somebody who has been stagnant, somebody who has experienced disappointments, somebody who has experienced failures, somebody who has experienced digestion, somebody who has been wondering, who has been meditating on the way forward this year. I prophesy to your life that as you start to wait upon the Lord, success is your portion. As you start to wait upon the Lord, your mountain shall become values. As you start to wait upon the Lord, your helper shall arise. As you start to wait upon the Lord, favor shall arise for you. As you start to wait upon the Lord, the grace to overcome the grace to succeed, the grace to be lifted up, the grace to be promoted shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you study that scripture very carefully, we will discover that four things will happen anytime anybody decides to wait upon the Lord. The first thing that will happen to anybody who decides to wait upon the Lord is that that person will renew his strength. The second thing that will happen is that that person will mount on wings like eagles. The third thing that will happen to any person that is waiting upon the Lord is that that person will be able to run without getting weary. And the fourth thing that will happen to any person that decides to wait upon the Lord is that you'll be able to walk without fainting. I pray once more for somebody who's listening to this message, the power to get your strength renewed, the power to mount on wings like eagles, the power to run without getting weary, the power to walk without fainting. Right here where you are, receive the power of God, receive the strength of God, receive divine strength, receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. The first thing that happens to anybody who waits upon the Lord is that your strength gets renewed. And anytime your strength gets renewed, you'll be able to overcome your failures, you'll be able to overcome your obstacles, you're able to overcome hindrances, you're able to overcome your weaknesses. Today, as you start to wait upon the Lord, I prophesy divine strength into your body, soul, and spirit. Today, as you start to wait upon the Lord in prayer and fasting, I prophesy divine helpers for you. Today, as you start to wait upon the Lord in prayer and fasting where you have faith before I prophesy that you shall succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the strength to climb a mountain the strength to overcome obstacles the strength to resolve challenges right there where you are receive divine strength receive divine strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ what else happens once you start to wait upon the Lord? The second thing that happens to anybody that decides to wait upon the Lord in prayer and fasting is that that person shall be able to mount on wings like eagles. Multitudes are walking upon the ground. It's only champions that are able to fly. Anytime you mount on wings like eagles, you are flying. Eagles fly, but the crowd walk. The Bible is saying in this passage that once you wait upon the Lord, you shall be able to mount on wings like eagles. And mounting on wings like eagles means you shall be able to fly like eagles. Flying on wings means that you are living above the crowd. Almost everybody walks, but only a few fly. The multitude walk, but champions fly. The crowd is on the ground, but the champions are in the air flying like eagles. You need to fly above the crowd on the ground to become a champion. Most people cannot fly because they never possess the power to fly. But once you start to wait upon the Lord, the power to fly like an eagle rests upon you. The power to fly like an eagle envelops you. The power to fly like an eagle falls upon you. Do you wish to fly like an eagle? Do you wish to move above the crowd? Do you wish to move to the higher level? Do you wish to distinguish yourself from the multitude that walk upon the land? Then you have to learn the strategy of waiting upon the Lord in 
in prayer and fasting. The Bible is so clear in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount on wings like eagles. I speak to somebody who is listening to this message today. Perhaps nobody knows you. Perhaps nobody visits you. Perhaps nobody calls you. Perhaps nobody asks of you. Perhaps nobody cares for you. It's all because you are nobody. But today, the Spirit of God is stunning you from nobody to somebody. Once you start to wait upon the Lord, the power to fly, the power to mount on wings and start to fly like an eagle shall fall upon you. And today, the Lord of Israel is changing your situation. Today, the Lord of Israel is changing your story. Today, the Lord of Israel is changing your name. Today, the Lord of Israel is changing the history of your life. Today, the Lord of Israel is changing your situation. And I prophesy to you that that power to mount on wings like eagles, that power that makes you to become an overcomer, that power that makes you to become a champion, that power that gives you the ability to live above the crowd right here where you are receive that power receive the power of god receive the power of god receive the power to fly in the mighty name of jesus christ what else happens to anybody that decides to wait upon the lord in prayer and fasting the tough thing that happens to anybody that waits upon the lord is that he shall be able to run and not get weary running and not getting weary means starting and finishing running and not getting weary means starting an idea and not abandoning it in the middle of the implementation of the idea perhaps there are several things you started last month last year perhaps there are several things you started last week and you have abandoned because you have become frustrated because you think you cannot achieve it today you are receiving a new anointing and that anointing will give you the power to start and finish your creator is the alpha and omega he started something and finishes it is the first and the last is the beginning and the end and today because you are having a new enlightenment to wait upon the lord the power to start and finish your business the power to start and finish your venture the power to start where and finish where shall fall upon you in the mighty name of jesus christ i rebook every spirit of failure in your life i rebook every spirit of disappointment in your life i rebook every spirit of failure at the head of breakthrough in your life every arrow of failure every arrow of starting where and finishing wrong name every arrow of succeeding at the beginning and finishing at the end every evil arrow that has been fired into your life i cast it out i cast it out in the mighty name of jesus christ the power to start and finish the power to run with your business the power to run with your vision the power to run with your idea the power to run with your mission and end work and succeed where the power to run with your goal the power to start your objectives and succeed in implementing them right there where you are receive the power of god receive the power of god in the mighty name of jesus christ what has happens to anybody that decides to wait upon the Lord? The last thing that happens to any person that decides to wait upon the Lord is that he shall walk and not faint. Fainting means dying. Fainting means abandoning your idea. Fainting means your ideas not succeeding. But because you have decided to wait upon the Lord, the prayer and fasting, the kings of kings, the gods of gods, the powers of heaven, the hosts of heaven today shall give you the anointing, the enablement, the vision, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to start and finish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy to somebody who is listening to this message that you shall walk and not be weary. Even as you start with a new vision this day, this week, this month, and this new year, you shall run and not be weary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall walk and not be faint in the middle of your businesses divine helper shall arise for your sake in the mighty name of jesus christ even when you are in the middle of the ocean when there seems to be no help suddenly help shall arise from zion and support shall arise from his sanctuary in the mighty name of jesus christ every power that has cut off your helpers i cut them off every power that is attacking your breakthroughs i attack them every power that is contending against your breakthroughs i continue against them every power that is opposing your ideas i oppose them in the mighty name of jesus christ because you have decided to wait upon the Lord. This new year, this new month, this new week, this new day, you shall receive divine grace, you shall receive divine mercy, you shall receive divine help, you shall receive divine favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The message I have for you today by the Spirit of God is that even as we are starting a new day, even as we are starting a new week, even as we are starting a new month, even as we are starting a new year, what you need to do to succeed in your business is to wait upon the Lord. What you need to do to succeed in your ministry is to wait upon the Lord. What you need to do to succeed in your life, in your academic life, is to wait upon the Lord. What you need to do to succeed in your marital life is to wait upon the Lord. What you need to do to succeed this year is to wait upon the Lord. That is the spiritual secret 
That is the Bible principles of success this year. And we have also known by the help of the Holy Spirit that waiting upon the Lord is being in the presence of God. Waiting upon the Lord is living in holiness and righteousness. Waiting upon the Lord is sacrificing your time in prayer. Waiting upon the Lord is cutting off your food. Waiting upon the Lord is cutting off your drinks. Waiting upon the Lord is spending quantity time fasting. Therefore, beloved, if you want to mount on wings like eagles this year, you need to fast. If you want to mount on wings like eagles this year, you need to pray. If you want to mount on wings like eagles this year, you need to study the word of God. If you want to mount on wings like eagles this year, you need to worship God and praise his only name. In the past, you have not waited upon the Lord and you have remained stagnant. In the past, you have not waited upon the Lord and you have been walking with the crowd. In the past, you have not waited upon the Lord and you have been walking instead of flying. In the past, you have not waited upon the Lord and nobody cares about you. You have not been able to attract divine help. You have not been able to attract divine favor. In the past, you have not been waiting upon the Lord and you have been expressing failures instead of successes. But today, as you start to live in holiness and righteousness, today as you stand upon the word of God, today as you spend quality time in prayer and fasting and persuaded that the spirit of god shall honor the word of god and persuaded that you shall start to mount on wings and eagles and persuaded that where you have failed you shall start to succeed and persuaded that where you have not received favor you shall start to receive multiple favors and persuaded that where doors have been closed against you doors shall be open concerning you and persuaded that where you have not received help helpers shall compete to help you and persuaded that where you have been dejected where you have felt abandoned and persuaded that you shall become an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release by the Spirit of God, I release upon you, I release upon your business, I release upon your family the power to fly. I release upon your business, I release upon your marriage the power to mount on wings like eagles. I release upon your life, I release upon your academics the power to walk and not be weary. I release upon your body, soul, and spirit the power to walk and not be faint in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is your year of promotion, this is your year of favor, this is your year of success. Any power anywhere that is saying you shall not succeed this year, I bury them alive. Any any power that is saying you shall not progress this year, I bury them alive. Any power anywhere that is saying you shall not break through this year, I command them to be arrested. Any power that is saying you shall not dance your dance this year, I command them to be buried alive. I command them to enter their coffins. Any power anywhere that is saying you shall not sing your song this year, I command them to be bearded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing to be lifted up, the anointing to progress, the anointing that breaks every yoke, the anointing that cast away every burdens, right here where you are, receive the power of God, receive the strength of God, receive divine strength, receive divine favor, receive divine mercy, receive divine provision, receive divine grace, receive divine help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine money to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The title of this message again is Bible Principles of Success in Life. My name is Baba Tokwe Babadobi, and for more prayers, for more concerning, I encourage you to send me an email. My email address is babanobi at yahoo.com. You can also give me a phone call on this number, plus 234-8035-897435. The number again is plus 234-8035-897435. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I command the angels of God to come around you. I mark you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say, Life is a portion. You shall live and not die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. According to the word of God, in righteousness shall you be established. Oppression shall be far away from you. You shall not fear of terror because it shall not come near you. Surely they shall gather against you. But according to the word of God, whosoever shall gather against you shall fall for your sake. No weapon formed against you shall prevail. And everything that rises against you shall thou judge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.